YouTube? This is the man 7431 coming back again with another video. And today I want to show you guys Xfinity TV working on the fire stick that I have plugged into the back of this TV. This will also work on Fire TV. Now, the trick to make this work, guys, is you have to have Chrome browser installed on your Fire TV or Fire Stick. So not only do you need Xfixity TV, but you also need the Chrome browser as well. Because both of these applications are going to work together. And Chrome is going to basically put the Xfinity TV into the login screen. So you can go ahead and put in your login information and you can go ahead and start watching TV shows, movies, all of that good stuff. Okay. Now in this video, um, I'm just going to go through and show you guys um, it working, Xfinity TV. Um, for those of you guys that want to get this app and Chrome browser, if you know how to sideload applications over to your Fire devices, go ahead and sideload them. Um, open up the Chrome browser. Set everything up in it. And then close it out. And then you're going to go ahead and open up Xfinity TV. Once you open that up, and then you're going to click on get started. Then it's going to take you to the login screen. Put your information in and you're good to go. Now, if you don't know how to sideload applications, um, I'm not going to be showing you guys how to do that because that's a little time consuming. Having to explain that and then switch over to the computer. But there's tons of videos on YouTube showing you guys how to do that. So just look that up, um, how to sideload applications over to your Fire Stick or Fire TV. And there's tons of videos to show you guys how to do that. Today, I'm just going to show you guys that it's working and everything is good. All the applications that you need to sideload is going to be in the description down below. And I'll also have a video in the description um, to where you guys uh, will be able to check out a video on how to sideload applications to your Fire Stick or Fire TV, okay? For those of you guys who don't know how to do it. With that said, let's go ahead. I wanna scroll down and show you guys that I do have Chrome, which is right here. I just installed it. Okay, there's my Xfinity TV. Let's go ahead and go into it. I was watching a few things here. Um, just doing a little bit of testing to make sure everything works good. Um, another thing too, guys, is just like with Xfinity TV Go, you're going to need more than just your remote that comes with your Fire Stick or Fire TV. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate for you right here. Um, with the remote control, you can actually highlight the three lines that's up there and go into it. But the problem is, let me just show you here, um, it won't highlight anything that's in this menu. The only thing that's automatically highlighted is the for you. Okay, so you're going to need, um, actually... You don't even need a keyboard and you don't need a Bluetooth controller. All you need is a, um, I got a video that I made. I'll, add, I'll put that in the description as well, um, where you can use a on-screen cursor. It's an app that you download from a website I'll put that link in the description down below, guys. Um, so that way, if you don't really have the money to go out and buy a fancy keyboard or a gaming controller or one of those special um, pads that has the 
little keys on there and all that. You ain't got to worry about doing that. Um, if you check out the video that I have in the link down below, um, I actually show you guys how to download this application and install it. Um, it's something I, I haven't checked it out in a while, but it's something about a, a mouse cursor. It appears on your screen. I'm going to be doing that actually with this remote control, but I'm just showing you guys right now that you just using it regularly. It's not highlighting anything for you to go into, like for instance, movies, TV shows, etc. So with that application, um, if I double click the play button here, as you see, it just brought up a cursor. Now, like I said, I got a video showing you guys how to install this in your remote controls. Um, I'll have that in the description down below so you guys can go ahead and install that on yours as well. But now, I'm actually able to highlight um, whatever I want in this menu over here. So let's go ahead and go to Movies. All right, so what you want to do now is you want to um, double click on this and now I can scroll down the list of movies here. Now that just took the cursor away. So let's say I wanted to I'm just going to click on a random movie here. Um, I just brought the cursor back up. So let's go ahead and click on this one here. And go ahead and click watch. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get out of that. But this cursor, on-screen cursor thing comes in really handy, guys, for applications that you can't get to work with the remote. That on-screen cursor works beautifully, guys. Um, all I got to do is move the little navigator around on the remote. And now I can... Go to another movie. I can exit out of this one that I'm previously looking at now. Uh, let's go ahead and do one more movie. And let's do, let's do King Kong. Let me load up here.
ahead and get out of that. So now let's go back up with the on-screen cursor. And let's say now you want to look at TV shows. So let's go ahead and click on that. Um, and let's go ahead and do Empire. Check out the latest episode of that. Join the conversation and live tweet with us, y'all. Use hashtag Empire. The lions are waiting for you. Viewer discretion is advised. Previously on Empire. You got shot. Your PTSD is no less significant than mine. If you need treatment. No, the only person that's killing you right now, Mom, is you. It's the one thing that ain't changed in me. All right, guys. So, it's TV shows. Seem to be working pretty good. All right, we're going to go down to networks. Now, this is where I ran into some issues with guys. Now, just hold on for one second, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Now, one of the issues I was running with, let me get rid of this cursor, is I'm in the networks, right? And it's not letting me go down the screen so I can click on certain channels, which is weird. Um... And usually with networks on Xfinity TV Go, it would, you know, let you sc scroll down to all the different channels. But like I said, I don't know if they're still working on this and ain't got it together or not. But currently, you can't scroll down to anything in the networks thing. So, that's not good at all. I mean, you can click on what's here if you're actually subscribed to it, but that's pretty much that. Um, And then you have your downloads, which I don't do any downloads. I don't do any downloading. Uh, I don't know what the for you is. Maybe just movies and TV shows that they pick specially out for you to check out. Um... Yeah, but I'm guessing the network is more of a live thing but like i said it's not giving you too many choices on that um let me go down to this guide here hmm All right, well, here's the guide. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to let us scroll down this either, guys. So... 
some of the stuff works in here, like live TV. Seem like you can't scroll up and down your live TV channels. Um, networks, you can't do the same thing in there either. Um, you can't scroll up and down in networks. So, um, for the ones that we can see, let's go ahead and do, uh, just click on one of these. like to battle the bulge. I'm maintaining an 80 pound weight loss for 11 years, six months. Um, okay, so this I'm is live TV here, guys. 252 pounds, but I don't only a few channels that they let you check out. Scale. Surgery is not for everyone. It's not as simple as going under the knife and coming out. Go ahead and come out of that. So, yeah, guys, let's go ahead and um, get on out of that. So what I've seen so far is the Xfinity TV app does work. Um, the only way it's going to work is if you open it up um, with Chrome. Let me log out of this. Um, you have to have Chrome on your Fire TV or Fire Stick along with Xfinity TV app for the app to work. Um, one of the problems, a couple of problems is that um, live TV, um, when you go into the live TV and try to scroll up and down, nothing happens, so you can't access all your live TV channels. Um, and another thing, when you go on a network, you can't scroll up and down that either to access channels as well. So hopefully they're going to be working on this for a fix. Um, again, this Xfinity TV app is not officially in the Amazon store. So this is another reason why these things don't work in here because this app isn't meant for Fire TV or Fire Stick devices. These applications are only meant for touch devices. Like I have this Xfinity TV on my RCA tablet that I just did a unboxing on and I scroll up and down and the uh, networks, live TV, everything works beautifully on a touch device. But when it comes to a non-touch device, that's when you start running into problems. Now, if they're going to be a fix around this, maybe with a new update, I don't know. But if there is a fix and a new update, I will make a new video to go along with this. Um, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment down below and tell me what you think about the Xfinity TV app for the Fire TV and Fire Stick. What do you think about it so far as far as working for the Fire TV and Fire Stick? Uh, so far, I think it's okay for what it is, um, even though it doesn't work too properly with um, scrolling up and down as far as your TV guys and looking for other live channels to watch or your network channels as well. Um, but other than that, I think it's cool, guys. This is the man 7431 Gary sign out. Please subscribe to me. Click that bell next to the description tab so you always be notified when I make videos and put them up. Um, comment down below and tell me what you think about this app, Xfinity TV. Um, share this video with your friends and family.
Um, if you guys have any questions about this app or need help with anything, just drop a comment down below and I'll help you as much as possible. This is the man 7431 signing out.